like volleyball because it's my hobby to play volleyball. Everybody has juice. So my juice become to pass and, and to play volleyball. Yeah, although people say that volleyball has no room for the short people, but still I can say that and I can do best because I can scoop the ball from down where the tall person cannot do that. Sport for Peace initiative is an initiative meant uh, to help uh, bring uh, peace and understanding and cooperation among the, the refugees and the host community who are living in the Dab uh, camp. So this Sport for Peace is meant to bring cooperation, understanding and uh, unity among the different populations that are living around and also within the camp. You know, when, the, when I was in South Sudan, war breakdown there in our area, then my father and my uncle was dead, the beach ducks. And then I ran away with my mother and my brother. Therefore, we get to ambush again. Then I ran by myself. I don't know whether they are alive or they are, uh, they are all dead. And I was being rejected by your nation. Now I'm a refugee. refugee. I feel happy. Why? Because I'm surviving. Now I'm surviving. I can feel happy because I'm surviving. The sport can promote peace among the, uh, the people. Like now, we are from different countries, and now UNHCR, uh, UNHCR will give, give us this opportunity to become together. So, to promote peace and unity among uh, the people. UNICEF is supporting uh, Sport for Peace in secondary schools, uh, where we are training teachers on conflict sensitive education, mainly focusing on areas of conflict resolution and uh, uh, increasing cohesion among the students, among the teachers, among uh, the parents. Around here, girls are not supposed to play in the open. They are also not supposed to do some behaviors when boys are looking at them. That's why when we have to hold, as a school, when we have to have uh, sports, they have to be in a confinement. We have to confine them because it's against them. It's against their, it's against their culture. And it's also against what they believe that girls do not expose themselves when they're playing. We have cultural parents. We don't allow to play what's called football, volleyball, even. But we just make ourselves to enjoy ourselves, though we are in close. In our school, we have boarding for girls, and we just play there over there. And now I'm very happy in different track with others I can make. My friend is in table tennis. My closest friend is a girl called Evangeline from Burundi. This is interaction and knowing of the people of each other, just to understand. And the sports came from a, as, a, as a sign of interaction. As interaction comes, this will come. Sports and activity keep us fit. It's part of who we are as human beings. Our way of living, waking up, eating and drinking, we also have to keep fit. And that is why we as teachers from Windows Trust, we saw it uh, necessary to also engage our girls in these sporting events.